What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a geometric washi wall with some scotch washi tape. I got it from Office Depot because it was out of stock everywhere. Doesn't wanna focus on it. Okay, well I'll just show you guys that. But without further ado, I'm just gonna get right to it. So I realized I didn't do really much explaining as I was doing everything, so I'm just going to be doing a voiceover today. Um, I already showed you guys the washi tape that I got. I would recommend to use the Scotch Tape brand because I initially bought one from Michaels that was kind of, I guess, like a designer off-brand brand, and it completely fell off every single time I put the tape on the wall. So I would definitely recommend getting the Scotch Tape brand. If you haven't already or if you are new here, make sure to check out my home series where I do a series of videos just talking about my experience buying my first home at 22 years old. Um, in that series, I talk about different tips but also my decorating journey for all the different rooms in my new house. So definitely check those out. Um, this clip is actually stemming from um, my latest video about decorating my YouTube slash beauty slash film room uh, where I did this geometric wall on one side. So make sure to check that out. Um, but yeah, I definitely just wanted to do this tutorial to give a more in-depth, um, I guess, explanation on how to do it. So to complete this project, you literally only need that gold washi tape that I showed you or any color of your choice or pattern, um, some scissors or an X-Acto knife so that you can cut the tape and cut around the corners, um, and then probably just a stool that you can stand on to reach the high tops. Um, also, you will need a reference photo. So I use this one. Um, I'll probably link it below too from my Google search. It's basically just a gold geometric um, background that I saw on Google from Society6. This is a pattern that they use on their different curtains and things like that. So I thought it was super cute um, and used it as my reference photo. Basically all I had to do was pull up that photo on my laptop and um, just kind of look back at it and mirror it on my wall at a wider scale. Cutting the tape and pasting it really wherever I want it to so it's a super super easy DIY as long as the tape sticks. <laughs> I mean like I said the Scotch brand was sticking way better for me and it's been a week over a week now and it's still sick so I definitely would recommend going with that brand but if you guys have any recommendations on like if there's any wall paste that I should try to use to secure it definitely comment below. One major tip that um, definitely impacted the outcome is that when putting this tape on, you would think that it would automatically go on in a straight exact line, but somehow it curves a little bit and that's what creates those air bubbles where it doesn't lay flat or stick onto the wall. So if you are placing this on your wall, just make sure that you are securing it in an exact straight line. So lifting it up and using your hand kind of like a squeegee almost to flatten it out um, in the exact straight line that it needs to go in. Of course, if you do have them curved, a lot of times what I did is I kind of just took the tape off and reapplied it. Um, this tape doesn't mess up the paint or anything like that, but I definitely wouldn't try to take it off too often because the stickiness might not be as much intact. Um, but yeah, if I had an issue where it was raising, I just would lift it up um, and kind of re-secure it to make sure that it was completely flat and straight. But yeah, it's looking good so far. I like it. My mom's coming with three more rolls. So I think that's gonna be, yeah, that's definitely gonna be enough um, to do the entire wall because I'm kind of doing like the bigger shapes. So it's gonna look good, I hope. All right. Go Alexis. You just, she's my motivator. Yes, because she really wanted to do this stripe and I'm like, huh? Like, okay. This geometric. Like, I was thinking either stripes or this but geometric. She said, I want to do it. I think it's going to look good. And it is turning out pretty. Yeah, it is. Like, yay. Ooh, ooh. Where do I need one? You need. You look at this and you tell me. What at the very top left. Yeah, and you want to cross over here. Mm -hmm. Good job. Some stripes are going up. I'm not doing Tuesday. Oh, no, Tuesday. So obviously this is a DIY you can do completely by yourself, but as you can see, my motivator mama 
was a great help with just kind of being another set of eyes to let me know where some gaps were or where another little sticker would fit nicely. So um, the good thing about having a geometric pattern though is it doesn't have to be uniform. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of whatever you want it to be, um, but it is nice to have someone else's eyes to show you where you should place your next piece of tape. So this is the final product of the wall with the vanity and everything kind of set up in the room. I love it. It looks so nice and it's still holding up good. So I definitely recommend this DIY for your own room. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Like I said, if you haven't already, check out my home series and I post new videos every single week, sometimes twice a week. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.